Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about Monique? And D.L. Hugo going at each other, man. And you know what's crazy? Even in them going at each other, is this was live in front of an audience. Yeah, man. Like, all right. So let's jump on into this thing. So basically, Monique was doing a comedy show with your boy D.L. Hugo. You know, with a few other comedians and whatnot. Well, the night of and before Monique actually um, set is prepared to go on because she's thinking she's the headliner. Well, not thinking. She actually went on stage before D.L. Hughley because, you know, her words were that D.L. Hughley acted like a female and said that he would not go on unless he went on as the headliner last. So I guess, you know, after deliberating, going back and forth, arguing, probably some cussing, because you know Monique, you know how she is. She came out before D.L. Hughley. But before she did her comedy set, she lit D.L. Hughley on fire. You hear me? Fire! For real. <laughs> Burnt dude down. You hear me? She basically saying, you know, he had some female tendencies. And, you know, had a, she was running across the stage and all, man. Yo, mocking dude just running him down. You know, basically talking about the promoter, talking about D.L. Hughley. You know, she said her contract stated that she was the headliner. That's the only reason why she took the job. But the night of, D.L. Hughley, I guess, finds out that she's the headliner, which he should have already known that. But he finds out she's the headliner. He, you know, now, hey, this could be a point of manipulation from the promoter the promoter could have basically made two contracts and gave both the same contract just to get them there and say oh well i'll work it out once they get here you know what i mean i'll tell monique you know I don't know. she'll just take the money and go on and perform well she did but not before lighting fire to the promoter <laughs> the promotion and dl hughley and boy 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 so, you know, a lot of people, you know, at that time and in the crowd, they were cheering, you know, they wanted to hear the gossip. They wanted to hear the dirt. You know, most crowds, you know, they want to hear what they came there to hear. You know, like if, you know, for instance, you come to hear Kanye, you don't want to hear Kanye vent. You know what I mean? A lot of people got their money back for that thing, for NASCAR, fiasco or whatever. But comedy is kind of different, you know. People can laugh at tragedy sometimes, and I think that's kind of what this was. It was one of those uh, tragedies that we have within our uh, people that, you know, you don't see amongst other comedians and other races. You don't see them tearing each other down and this, that, and the third, but, you know, we are hurt people, and, and that's what I saw in that video. I saw a lot of pain for Monique. I, I know she's been probably treated differently and, and handled the wrong way in a lot of situations that made her who she is right now and it makes her react this way you know um, I, I, I've sat back for um, a while now and just 
kind of processing all of this and looking at it from all perspectives, looking at it from D.L. Hughley perspective. You know, he feels as though, hey, you know, I've been selling tickets. You know, uh, I got a radio following. You know, I reach these specific numbers on a daily, a weekly, monthly, yearly basis. Now, what are the numbers for Monique? And I'm pretty sure if you compare the two, D.L. Hughley probably would outweigh Monique's numbers. So, he probably had that perspective he was going from. Hey, look, I'm a numbers guy. You know what I mean? And, you know, la, 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 la. I just feel as though it could have been handled a whole lot differently from both parties. For real, for real. You know? And just maybe, just maybe somebody could have been the bigger bygone out of this. Now, granted, Monique was the bigger bygone because she actually did go on before D.L. Hughley, but... Maybe, dear Hughley, you could have talked to Monique and said, hey, look, this is the reason why I feel like I should go on last. And I was told I was going to go on last. This isn't, this isn't some last minute decision, la, 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 la. Whatever the truth is, he should have kicked that tour and been a man about it instead of, you know, letting the promoter handle it, especially if y'all are comedian colleagues. You know, one thing Monique said that <laughs> resonated with a lot of people that had a lot of people laughing at the end was when she said that, uh, D.L. Hughley, you opened up for Kings of Comedy. I closed for Queens of Comedy. Woo! That was a mic drop. Oh! <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. That was a mic drop on your D.L. <laughs> And, you know, for all of y'all that want to see the full joint, you know what I'm saying? I will post a link in the comment just to show y'all, you know what I'm saying, the full joint. If you like to see that, I'm not going to steal nobody's video and, and get blocked, uh, you know, for you. So um, that's why I do the videos the way I do. You know, I just give you the short rundown so you ain't got to watch the whole thing and da 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 Save you some time here on Primetime Talk TV. Well, anyway, D.L. Hughley responded, not that night. Because I guess he was a professional about his. He responded the next day in a <laughs> a very, very, very good uh, <laughs> um, remark, you know. And, you know, hey, look, I will tell you this much. Dear Hughley, man, you know, he's he's a professional with his, you know. He definitely was professional with it um and everything that he pretty much stated you know it just boy it was like really really spot on I, I i can't even front with you you know like you know dl hughley man he is you know one of those guys to where He's very, very, very smart, you know. Um, so, ah, man, how about <laughs> your boy D.L. Hughley actually posted the contract? <laughs> oh, man, man, man. <sighs> so <laughs> basically dear Hughley, you know, he he you know they they really go they really go to war, you know, for real, for real, you know, like <laughs> Dear Hughley, he posted everything and it shows that Monique was not the headliner from everything he's posting. You know, which, hey, you know, two sides to a coin. This could be his side of the printed out stuff. She could have her side of the printed out stuff. He, you know, <laughs> wow. So this is what D.L. Hughley uh, says on his Instagram. He says, after this, I don't want to hear no more about this. Here it is in black and white. The only thing blacked out is personal and bank info. Pay attention to headliner, highest paid artist on the show, artists to have approval of lineup, lineup of the show, D.L. Hughley closing, receipts, opinions. I got everything that was stated in my contract, everything. But let's say I did. My beef wouldn't be 
with anyone but the promoter and or my team. And I damn sure wouldn't make it personal. If you have a problem, take it up with management. And by that, I mean yours. Woo! Whoa. So, hmm. Dia Hughley is basically saying that uh, she need to take that over her management. Sounding like her husband that's in control of her career that has been kind of spiraling down since she married this dude. You know, which I don't know. You know what I mean? It's two sides to that coin. And she might not like him because he's an outsider. Who knows? You know, I do know, you know, I've heard of stories of where spouses, actors have married people outside of the realms of success and money. And they are kind of blackballed because, you know, uh, the actors, the stars, the rappers or whatever is is kind of like a tight knit community. And they don't allow certain people that don't have ties within ties to be where they are. And this could be one of those situations, you know? Who knows? But I do know I am looking at what Dia Hughley got in black and white. <laughs> you know? And hey, his stuff, hey, his stuff show, you know, what, what it is. So, you know, you can argue what you want, but boy. Mm, 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 mm. All the advertisement, all the posters, <laughs> everything, you know, and, 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 you know, Monique, I'm sorry, but you gonna have to check with your management like dear Hugo said, I'm sorry, I apologize, you know, I went in this video thinking that, you know, before I actually you know, did all my research and everything. I was, you know, I just seen a little video sound bites and I was like, man, look at DL, man. Tearing down my sister, boy. You know, cause me and, you know, me and my girl, we went not too long ago, you know, a year ago or two or whatever, seen Monique, you know, enjoyed the show, you know, but she kind of had this, you know, venting type of, you know, lingo on stage. It really wasn't like a Cat Williams comedy show. It was more like real life, you know, having a real discussion, we're gonna laugh together and we're gonna cry together type of joy. Um, so, you know, she got her own way of doing things, I get that. But um, looking at all the evidence, seeing everything that's circulating, that's been circulated by Dia Hughley and other outlets, uh, the radio station advertisement, things of that nature. Monique, you definitely was not the headliner, sweetheart, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you know, and please do not get mad at me, <laughs> you know, because I love you, you know, unlike everybody else, you know, I, I love you um, as a person, as a woman, um, as a, a professional, as an actor, uh, as a comedian, as a businesswoman, uh, as a, uh, uh, you know, just as a person. You know, I think she's a wonderful person, you know, even from her TV show that she had back in the day on BET, everything, you know, she's accomplished, she earned it, you know, the Parker show, all of it, you know, beautiful, I love it, um, but sometimes we have to step away from what we used to be to walk towards where we supposed to be and be who we supposed to be and no one else. You know, no husband, uh, no friends, no jobs, nothing like that can satisfy you than being happy with yourself. And, um, you know, we got to have thick skin in this world. We got to let a lot of stuff roll off our skin. We got to bite our tongue in a lot of situations we want to vent, you know, and I get it. You know, this is a hard world for everyone. Um, I'm not choosing no sides. We're not downing anyone. Um, but, you know, I have looked at the evidence. I'm showing y'all the evidence, letting y'all know what it is um, from what I've researched and what I've dug up. So now if there's anything else, I will stay on top of the story. I still will cover it and I'll come back to you if I find anything else. 
about this if monique replies with something and shows something different i will make a video to cover that as well but um you know i just i i really do hate it that you know those are two of our greats and we want to see them enjoy life together you know performing together i want to be able to go you know to a comedy explosion and see all of them lined up queens kings comedy all of us so you know this right here does not put us in that direction so you know i hope these two can work it out i hope they can patch it up one day um it's really kind of small compared to the scheme of things or everything that's going on in the world right now so we just want to be mindful of that and make sure that we look out for each other as best as possible you know uh stop letting your ego lead you know everyone knows what we've all accomplished that's close to us so i don't think we need to toot our horn in this world we just need to live our best lives be as positive as possible and help as many people as we can help bring up and that's all i got for you in this video so you already know the routine when you leave my house hit the like button hit the subscribe button smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time i drop these next latest and greatest videos here on primetime talk tv and i'm on social media everywhere and definitely go to the website primetimetalktv.com copy your hat shirt merch something all right y'all peace love i'm out